Hi, welcome to Make or Repair. Today I'm hoping to take a look at this phone. The problem is this USB port, which has become loose with repetitive recharging. It's quite an old phone by now. I've done a repair on in the past, and I'll probably refer to that a little bit as I go on. So the first job is to get it out of its case. This is a Samsung A51. So I need to remove the back and uh, get access, and then I need to replace this USB connector. Now, you know me on this channel, I like to do component level repairs. And uh, here are some USB connectors. Now these are really, really tiny. I don't know what size pin pitch it is, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millimeters, something like that, 18 pins. So I can have a go at soldering that. These were just under four pound for two. And this, which is an entire board, can be bought for around about the same price. So I'm actually, this time, I'm gonna do this module repair, just plug in a replacement module. What I'll attempt then is to solder these onto the old board and see if I can get that one refurbished. Because my wife also has the same phone, it'd be useful to have another one of these to plug in, just so we can do a quick repair on that as and when it needs it. That's the plan. The so first job is to remove the back. Just get in there with a little lever. In this case, yeah, it's been for that too much trouble. Last time I repaired the phone, I used a less sticky adhesive tape so that it would come apart easier for future repairs. I'll add in part of my previous screen repair video so you can see how I got the back off the first time. So the next job is actually to um, try and warm up the back, I think, just to soften some of the adhesive. So using a normal heat gun to, uh, to heat up the back, uh, concentrating on the edges, keeping it moving. Uh, and this is a variable heat uh, device, so uh, it's turned down quite low to avoid damaging and I'm keeping a really close eye to make sure that uh, nothing visible happens to the back uh, of the phone. Uh, and I'll be using the thin uh, levers to uh, to get started and get under that very, very fine edge. Entrance all this time. Gosh, this one's tight and it does not want to move. So, okay, we're under. So hopefully now we should be able to get in there and just run this on the edge, peeling away the adhesive. Just using a heavier tool where it's needed. Trying not to do irreparable damage. Okay. So there we go. I'm going to get, I'm going to leave it off now. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so what I need to do now is get into these little screws. It's a Phillips screw head, I think. Maybe a double zero, let's try that. So very important to ensure you keep track of what screw goes where, and I'm just using this little card here, magnetic card to hold the screws. And the reason for that is that some of these screws can be a different depth. And if you put them back in the wrong place, you can actually damage a board or a screen or something underneath, and you really don't want to do that. Okay, so now we just need to try and separate out this side. Yep, oh, there we go, still got a screw in there. Okay, that should pop off a bit better, I think. Maybe there's another screw hidden somewhere. But we've already got enough access to actually see the board that we want to replace. Okay, I'll just let the sim hold right for a second and it'll come apart. Okay, excellent. So here's our board that we're interested in replacing. Here is our replacement. So at least they look the same. That's always a bonus. So let's just lift up our little clips. And these ones just lever off on this particular model. Or another one on this side. Or back. There's a teeny little wire connector just here. I almost forgot. I've got another one just here. It should hopefully just wiggle out. And there we have it. So it's literally got a teeny bit of adhesive tape on the back there just to hold it in place. So let's not get my old and new mixed up. Let me get the tape. Okay, so I've just gone and got my tape, but as it happens, this particular board already has an adhesive attached to the back. So I'm just grabbing my anti-static brush just to brush out 
little bit of dust that's gone in one or two of these places. Why I caught? That's it. That's it, and it's in place. I'm just push it down firmly at the back there. Reattach our connectors. This one here as well. A bit of wiggling will do it. This one just here. And now it's just a case of really reassembling everything and making sure we haven't lost any buttons or anything like that that might have happened to uh, fall out. Reposition and start clipping. And I'll remove some of this not quite so sticky anymore stuff and uh, get on with re screwing it together. So in terms of re-gluing this, you can, of course, buy kits which have a properly cut out adhesive trace to go all the way around the edges. Or you can just do what I did, which is use a really, really thin double-sided adhesive tape. Okay, so I'm just putting new tapes along here just to hold everything in place. And I would strongly recommend that you cut these tapes to width before you apply them, because some of these corners have bits of printed circuit boards and things like that, so you can't just run the scalpel along there and get it to size. Before you do the top and bottom, you must make sure, of course, get all these screws in. Don't over tighten these stupidly, but they want to be snug. Okay, that's all of the screws back in. None left over. This is always a bonus. Peeling these back. Move the dust. Position and assemble. Yeah, there we have it, foam back together. Okay, and we're up and running. Right, let's see if we don't have slightly better USB connection now. So we'll just double check and make sure we've got a good firm connection. Oh yeah, that's lovely. That absolutely clips in and holds in place. Absolutely beautiful now. It's like a different machine. So I needed to do this repair today because tomorrow I'm doing another video where I'm reviewing something that plugs in the bottom there. So watch this space. All right, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave comments, share with friends, all that jazz, and see you next time. Bye for now.